Hello again, playing with junk. You certainly know all these capacitors. They are on main boards, in power supplies. And from time to time they start looking like this. They blow up, they build up steam, they leak. I show you how to repair a main board with leaky capacitors. I already changed a few and I have to change the ones on the left side. Now this is the method I prefer. I take a desoldering iron set to the highest temperature of 460 Celsius. You can hear the vacuum pump and this is the uh, hot air blowing gun set to about 400 degrees. Uh, it shouldn't be set higher because you will burn the board. If you need more um, temperature, more heat then you better increase the airflow. This does also increase the energy uh, of the hot air because there is simply more hot air. Now before I start, this is a, a lead free board. Um, I apply some lead solder to the capacitor I want to remove because uh, it melts a little bit at a lower temperature and it also melts a little bit easier and it flows a little bit better when uh, it is sucked away. I always make circles with the desoldering iron to check if the, uh, the lead of the capacitor is already loose. I do not apply any pressure to the board it's just circling around. Uh, applying pressure to the board while desoldering will damage the, the solder pad. It will probably break off the board, the, the copper pad, because the tracks are all, uh, only glued to the board and the heat and mechanical pressure will uh, just destroy the board. So don't uh, press your soldering iron down too much. You, you can already see the capacitor moving. It's not free completely, so I give a little bit more of the solder and I repeat that process because the lead-free solder will now be replaced by the leaded mm -hmm. solder and that makes everything a little bit easier. The good effect of this method is you have not only removed the capacitor, you also clear the holes completely, so after this step uh, your board will be ready for the new capacitors. If you are using solder wick or the wiggle and rocking method, uh, you have to do a second pass to clean the holes for your new capacitor and in my method uh, this is all done uh, in one pass.
As you can see here, the two holes on the right are already ready, they are clean, and the two on the left, they still have a little bit solder in it, so it will be hard to get a new capacitor in, so I will clean them again. And I will clean them by filling the holes up with uh, leaded solder, like for example this one. I prefer to take a small diameter, 0.5 mm here, because uh, it melts better, it takes away uh, less energy, less heat, and uh, I think it has a little bit more flux for the amount of solder you use, so I'm pretty happy with this one. I first heat up the board with the uh, hot air for a couple of seconds. The board is already a little bit warm. Then I hold down mm. my desoldering iron for a couple of seconds, maybe two or three seconds, mm. to make it melt to the board. And then I clean off everything around the solder pad. And it looks way better than before ready for the new caps. Most capacitors have a marking for the negative uh, uh, wire. It's this uh, line on the capacitor and the wire next to it is the negative one. And the boards mostly have a, a marking for the positive uh, lead of the capacitor. So take care that you insert them correctly. On some boards there is a plus sign on the board. Some also uh, mark the negative side. Then I bend the pins a little bit so the capacitors cannot fall out when I turn the board over for soldering. Uh, I could have made that a little bit straighter but, uh, well, nobody will see it when the board is inside the computer again. I always take the biggest solder tip I can find, because you have to transfer a lot of heat to that boards, and uh, a very small tip simply cannot make that much uh, thermal contact with the, with the solder pad and it's difficult to get the heat into the board. With a large uh, solder tip it's not a problem and to have more control of the soldering I use this thin solder wire as you saw before 0.5 millimeters and you can guide the solder exactly where you want it by moving the wire but not moving the, the soldering iron. You have to rest the solder iron for a moment on the board to heat it up. So uh, if you hurry, it will not it will not work. You can also see how the solder gets sucked down uh, the hole in the board. That's okay, and you need that time, to, uh, the soldering time, to get the heat uh, to the other side of the board. Maybe you noticed when I lifted the soldering iron, I lifted it. Uh, and rubbed against these wire ends. This is to prevent any, to make any spots or mountains or whatever of solder on the solder pad. So if everything uh, gets stick 
to the soldering it gets stick to the wire of the capacitors and that is cut away so no problem we get a nice looking solder joint on the board I also cleaned the board with some PCB cleaner board cleaner or you can also use alcohol um, you don't have to do that but I sometimes do it to make the board look a little bit less um, worked on so yeah not too bad Now there is a question I have been asked many times. The question is what do I do when I don't have the right capacitor, the right value, the right voltage? Well, you can always take a capacitor with a higher voltage because the voltage on a capacitor tells you how much voltage it actually uh, is operated with. So if you take one with a higher voltage, it has an easy life on your board. Uh, the problem is sometimes uh, higher voltage capacitors are uh, larger, so you probably won't get them into your board. Uh, for the capacity, if you don't have a capacity, uh, the right capacity, it's not a big problem. If you have something, something that is close to it, maybe a third higher i wouldn't go lower uh, but higher can be accepted maybe not necessarily the double or three times the value but something in the near uh, sometimes you have a lot of capacitors in parallel so you probably can decide instead of two 1000 microfarad you take a 2200 microfarad if it fits from the size well yeah that's about it thanks for watching